In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most important, but at the same time, one of the most forgotten plays in Madden 21, how you can run it to be successful, and exactly the complete offense that you need to use it well. What's up guys, my name is Cody and my uh, my channel is all about helping people get better at Madden 21. If you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. Now, like I said, we're going to be talking today about the bunch tight end. And if you want to get my entire bunch tight end offensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video for just $15. It's complete bunch tight end. It shares with you different types of bunch tight ends as well. We go over the Jets bunch tight end as well as the run heavy bunch tight end as well as the um, Seattle Seahawks bunch tight end, which is what I'm in right now. And I want to talk to you specifically about this play right here, uh, curl flap corner. Now, curl flat corner is a really, really important play within this offense. A lot of people forget about it, but it's really important for several different reasons. We're going to share with you why um, in this video. So first and foremost, curl flat corner. And again, if you want to get the entire bunch tight end offense that I personally recommend and will tell you that it is the best offense in the entire game, then you can get that in the description of this video. But curl flat corner, let's dive into how this play works. So what we're going to do, as far first and foremost, we want to talk with, about this as it pertains to a traditional kind of Mabel coverage, cover three style. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the circle receiver on a streak. We're going to put the triangle receiver on a smart route. You see that it's going to turn that really deep corner route into a really short corner route. We're then going to take the square receiver and we're going to put him on a little five yard out route, a little quick out, very simple. Um, and then what I like to do personally is I actually like to put the tight end on a delay fade. I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact blocking adjustments as I do from paid boot over. So I'm going to hit L1. I'm going to flick the right joystick down to double team um, and move it over to the farthest guy on the right side of the screen. And then I'm going to ID the corner on that side in case they try to use a rush or something off the edge. And then from there, what you do with your running back is honestly up to you. There's a lot of different things that you can do with him. Um, I personally recommend an option route just because of what that's gonna do against man coverage. But the trick with the option route is you wanna make sure to smart route that. The reason why you wanna smart route that, not only is this gonna provide you a better, um, you know, more deeper uh, beater against man coverage, but it's also going to be much better spacing against zone coverage. So. Uh, that's what I recommend. This is the setup that I like to do. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually motion the square receiver all the way to the outside, and we're gonna snap the ball just before he sets his feet or right after he sets his feet, just like this right here. And what you're gonna see is it's going to help us get nice spacing against that cover uh, against that cover three sky or cover, uh, cover Mike, Mike, Mike Blitz three. Let me show you that one more time. So again, we're going all out coverage here on the defensive side of the ball, but I want you to watch specifically how um, this is going to work against a Mike Blitz 3 style of defense. So um, you can see here's our adjustments and we're just going to smart route that triangle receiver. We're going to motion that guy out just like this right here. And what you're going to see is this triangle receiver should get open pretty consistently. Should be a very simple read. Now what I like about this is against match defense, right? If they're, if they're running match defense, match coverage, um, this is actually going to do pretty good for a lot of different reasons. Uh, this is going to be a pretty solid little uh, little play for match defense. So what we're going to do is the exact same adjustments, but the beauty of this is that because of the way that we're going to snap that square receiver, uh, we're going to get all the way out here and kind of snap like right here. It's going to cause both of the match defenders to cover the outside receiver and they're going to leave the slot open for an easy read on this corner route. Let me show that to you one more time. This is really, really important um, for understanding how to consistently be able to beat match defense. So uh, again, this is the exact adjustments that we want to do. Let me show you what it looks like here. And this is one of the most important uh, route combos you can use. So this is, this is exactly how the play looks. We're motioning this guy out just like that right there. And then what you're going to see is we actually are also going to be able to beat it right over the top. As you can see right here, we're going to have this little special easy dot over the top to the circle receiver. Now, there's a couple of adjustments um, that people can do from their match defense that they're going to try to do. So one of those is they're going to put this, this safety on the bunch side. Almost always, if people are running um, match defense, the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna put the safety on, and, and you're able to bomb their match defense. The first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna put their safety in a deep half. 
The reason why is they believe that that's going to help them with the match coverage. So let me show you what that looks like. Same exact setup. And I just want you to watch the circle receiver. And all we're going to do is just pass it to the inside. And as you can see, it absolutely still torches it. We're able to beat Cobra Four Quarters uh, in multiple different varieties, in multiple different ways with one setup and one passing play. That's why this play is so powerful. Okay. Um, another thing that they're going to try to do is they're going to try to man up somebody. So it might look something like this. This is actually a really common thing. Um, if people are, are running match coverage from this formation, this is a very popular way to, to do that. And I just want to show you exactly, uh, again, just what it looks like you know, when we run this play. Because I want you to see this, not just against Mike Blitz 3, but I want you to see it against a bunch of the defenses that you're going to face. So if they run match defense, you're going to see, once again, the circle receiver is wide open. Right over the top, it's an easy dot right over the top of the defense, just like that. So the next thing that they're gonna do um, to try to stop this, because this is how they're gonna defend uh, P boot over. So one other thing that they're gonna do to try to stop this is they may try to say, well, we're just gonna man up the, the triangle receiver because he's he's been giving us problems on PA uh, boot over for the entire game. We're just gonna man him up and see what happens, right? Well, if they do that, what's gonna happen is once again, you're still gonna have the circle receiver over the top. So the, it really comes down to there's only two or three things that they can do um, to really stop this as far as to stop the bomb out of match defense. This is why this is such a good concept uh, for match defense. The first thing they can do is they can man up the circle receiver. If they man up the circle receiver um, with the linebacker though, sometimes the circle receiver will actually uh, beat the press animation. But if he, you know, if he doesn't beat the press, then it is what it is. But that's not going to stop everything, right? You're still going to be able to hit your triangle receiver, hard outside pass lead, easy to the corner, absolute laser. And so, you know, this is really cool because this is now a very good match beater. It's also a good cover three Mabel beater. I also want to talk about one of the other styles of zones that you're probably going to see if you play this, um, if you if you face, you know, this defense at all. It's very likely that you're going to see this the, the next adjustment that we're going to share with you. So the next the next style of adjustment is really designed for um, you know bombs. It's, it's, it's really designed to kind of bomb proof your coverage. And what that is is that you're going to experience a lot of deep halves. So what the what the defense is probably going to do is they're going to deep half uh, both of their outside corners uh, on their cover three Mabel. So uh, here's our setup again. And then on the defensive side, we're running a cover three Mabel, and we've just deep half both of our outside outside corners. And so I just want you to watch kind of what that looks like and how we play that. What you're going to see is it's going to leave all this room on the sideline for you to be able to hit this corner route. And that's really the beauty of this play is it really is a pick your poison kind of situation for them. We're running 25 yard flat zones on this. Uh, 25 yard flat zones is pretty good um, against against something like this, but again. Um, you have everything else. You can hit the underneath flat if you wanted to. You can hit the square receiver. Um, but the other thing is, if you just watch, if you get this nice little route, that's more of what you're going to see against that. The, the 25 yard flat zones are a good adjustment, but the problem is because they try to do it out of Mike Blitz 3 and they're trying to stay in a basically a cover 3 style shell, then what's going to happen is you're going to see that that flat zone is going to be drifting from the inside to the out. And because you're getting a basically a turbo boost off of this smart routed corner, um, it's gonna be really hard for that to be able to get out there. And so you're gonna see a lot of this right here uh, where we can basically just pass it them up. And then if we can get a nice swerve catch, we can actually make that catch and make a play on that ball. Now the last defense that I really wanna go over with you is something that is actually relatively effective against this play, and that is a cover two style of defense. And so I wanna to talk to you briefly about what do you do whenever your opponent runs cover two, how do you handle it? The first thing I wanna show you is that if they do that against this setup right here, you're gonna be throwing right into it. As you can see right there, it's not a good look. It's really not what we wanna do. And more than likely, if they know what they're doing, um, they're going to be using it in the middle of the field. And so it's actually really likely that they're gonna go ahead and take away you know, your circle receiver. But if they don't, I just wanna share with you really quickly uh, what this looks like. So if they don't guard up the seam, you can hit this right here against that cover two, um, as you can see. 
But the next thing that I want to share with you is if you're starting to notice that there's a trend and you're starting to notice that they're running a lot of cover two and they're basically usering the streak, if you just leave this triangle receiver on his default route, um, it's a very deep inverted corner route. This is going to get over every zone drop in the entire game. As you can see right here, it's going to get over to the sideline relatively easily. Now, one other thing that I would recommend is you still want this to look exactly the same. I made a mistake on that last play because I didn't motion out that square receiver and it actually caused a little bit of problem with the coverage. So let me show you this route one more time. Um, this is why bunch tagging I think is so good because you have this route right here. I think this route is super, super underrated as you can see on the sideline. Right there, Kevin King made a pretty good play. But typically that route will get, um, will get to a pretty good spot on the field if they're running a lot of traditional cover two. Now it is a specific type of cover two that we're looking for. We're looking for that cover two where they've got their flats as their you know, 25 to 30 yard zone. Um, that's really where it's gonna come in handy because you're gonna wait on it, wait on it, wait on it, wait on it, and then he's gonna come inside just like that. And then you're gonna have an opportunity on the sideline. So um, that's what you could do with this passing concept. The other thing that we haven't really gone over yet um, is man coverage. If they run man coverage, circle's probably not gonna get open, square's probably not gonna open, but your, your other three routes will. So your corner route will typically get open, as you can see right there on the sideline. Um, the other thing is your running back route will normally get wide open. So you have a couple of different options against the man coverage, but the biggest deterrent of this passing concept, in my opinion, is an effective cover two style of defense. And so you wanna kind of plan for that so that you can kind of build around that and build some things in your arsenal, like the delayed drag or the option route, which are both really good against a cover two, or even just a quick out if they're not having a disciplined cover two Mabel, or you even have your streak. So a lot of things that you can do with this passing concept to attack a lot of the field, but do be aware that really the number one thing that I think is gonna to be tough to, to, to beat on that side is a like 30 yard uh, cloud flat at a cover two, so out of like a Tampa two, because the cloud flat needs to be outside of the slot. If the cloud flat is not outside of the slot, so like if the cloud flat's from the slot corner of the linebacker, then we're gonna be able to consistently beat that. But if the cloud flat is from outside of the wide receiver, of the slot receiver, um, meaning like from a Tampa two, then they're gonna be in a pretty good position to be able to make a play on that. So anyways, thanks for watching this. If you wanna dive into the entire uh, bunch tight end guide, you can get that in the description for just $15. I believe it's the most effective and efficient offense in the entire game. And you can learn it right now for just $15. The entire guide is available at the link in the description. I put it right down in there for you guys. So you can click on that link and you can go get the offensive guide. It's a complete offensive guide that will walk you step by step through how to learn and how to master this incredible offense. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.